man. It's G Butterfly, and I'm coming to you live from the parking lot like I always do. Well, you know I got a quick little story for you out there in social media land, and I want to know what are your thoughts. Uh, I saw a video where there was a lady. I don't know what state she lived in, but the uh, the whole little story was about her 17-year-old son who she thought was a 12th grader and was getting ready to graduate. Lo and behold, she finds out that her son has to go all the way back to the ninth grade. He has gone to school for four years. Now, what he did in those four years, I don't know because he only had two and a half credits. He has only passed three classes in four years according to his um, transcript. Now, the mother is all in an uproar because she say it's the school fault. She said she was working three jobs and she thought that her son was passing his class. I was like, ah! The thought is where I have a problem. Mama, why didn't you know where your son was when it comes to his education and what was his status? And he, you're thinking he's getting ready to graduate. Now, I'm going to give mama just a little bit of grace. I'm a little bit. Because she says she had to work three jobs. And I understand if you, I can assume she's a single parent if she was working three jobs. I can't see her being a wife and having to work three jobs and take care of her children. But that's neither here nor there. That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about this child who's 17 and only had two and a half credits and was going to school almost every day because they say he had some attendance issues also. But mama going to get just a small smidgen of grace because she was working three jobs per her admission. But she says all the school fault. And I'm like, ah, 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 ah. It's not the school fault, mama. Why did you not respond to emails? Because I know good and damn well somebody from that school sent you an email, a text message, a phone call, left a voice message, or left an automated message on your home phone if you had that. Now, my children are grown and have been out of high school well over 10 years. And I know even back then, if there was any situation going on, they was going to email me call my phone leave a voice an automated voice message if anything was going on with the school so i know if your son is in school now the automation is there and you can't use that excuse so mama what were you doing in four years that you didn't go up to the school you couldn't have been involved in anything because you would have known that your son couldn't participate because he was failing everything so i lay all this at the feet of the mom now, the son going to get a little bit of this too. Because if he's 17 and been going to school for four years, he has seen a report card. He has seen a progress report. He has seen his test scores. He knew that he was not in the 12th grade and did not have enough credits to graduate. So why wasn't the son a little more aggressive and meeting with his teachers, trying to meet with his counselors, trying to figure out what was going on. Now, the mama got some grace. I'm going to give little man a little grace too. Little man going to get a little grace. If the son had no issues, meaning any type of disabilities, any disabilities whatsoever, if he had none of those, responsibility as well to make sure that he was on track. Now, if he had any type of disabilities or anything like that, then I can understand why he wasn't aware of where he was supposed to be each year, what, what grades he was supposed to be making. You know, there are a lot of different variables. But if this young man had no issues, he's seen everybody else passing, everybody else with the right credits, why didn't he take any initiative to go and find out where he's supposed to be? There are so many things going on with this story, but when the mom say it's all the school fault, I'm like, uh-uh, mama. You ain't taking no accountability for not doing shit while your son was in high school. I'm sorry. Now, all of you out there in social media land, I want to know what your thoughts are. If you had a child and you're thinking they're getting ready to graduate, but you find out after they've been in high school four years, they have two and a half credits because they've only passed three classes. So that leads me to believe he passed English one semester, he passed English one semester, and passed home ec because you get half a credit for those uh, elective classes. Now, let me know, what do you think about that? I think the mama was all kind of wrong for saying it was the school fault for not notifying her that her son didn't have enough credits. I'm like, mm-mm, 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 mm-mm. No, mama, I'm going to need you to come and do better with that. But out there in social media land, what are your thoughts? 
And if you're an educator, I would really like to know what your thoughts are. How how does this happen in high school? Um, I know parents, I guess, tend to be a little more involved in elementary and middle school. And I, I was involved all the way through high school with my children, so I don't really know how that happens. But as an educator, please let me know, how does this happen? A child can go through four years and have two and a half credits and now is faced with going back not going back to the ninth grade but still being classified as a ninth grader do you think that the mom should allow him to just stay in school or work with him on getting a GED what what do you think should happen and I'm really curious to know out there in social media land all right this G butterfly and I'm coming to you live from the parking lot now I'll talk to y'all later bye